finally about to go set a coon trap. I'm letting the truck warm up for a second. And just went and bought it today. Dog proof trap. And I made me a little chain so I can hook it around a tree. And I'm tired of coons stealing my trap because they've done it twice to a dog proof. And I'm going to stick this dang padlock on that chain around the tree. Here's the key for it. So hopefully they won't get away this time. If they do, then well, I guess I should probably just stop trapping and save my money. And uh, got me some raccoon lure and a little bit of cat food. And some power steering fluid, because I always got to have that, because the truck likes to run out of power steering fluid. And a tree stand, and just about anything else I can need. Some gloves, strap, empty granola bar. That don't do me a whole lot of good, but... Yeah, I'm gonna head down here and go set this gun trap in here. I haven't baited the trap or anything yet, but I got it set. And I was not kidding when I said I was putting a padlock on this thing. So now if a coon steals this, and well, I really don't know what to say. That's a bad sign. There's ants all over this tree. I might eat my bait. Oh well, we'll do something. And uh, me, Jake, Murdoch, and Andrew actually came in here, I think last week, last Saturday. Maybe the one before, and we couldn't hide. We actually treed one like 20 yards up that way, so hopefully, I can get that same coon to come back. I don't know. As you can tell, I've trapped down here before. That's my trap. I need to get it and take it back with me, but I'm gonna break out this stuff and I'm gonna bait this trap and I'll catch you guys when I'm done. And the trap. I got this stuff. Let me open it right quick. This lure. And I honestly have no idea how to use this, but. Based off how it smells, I do not think a coon wants to eat that. So I think I'm just going to try to pour it on this tree. If it does pour, oh yeah, it pours. Oh, that looks disgusting. I don't know how much to use. This little bottle ain't going to last very long. Oh yeah, I can smell that. Alright, I think that's plenty. Put the lid back on that junk. Ugh. I don't know what a raccoon finds interesting about that. Alright. We got it set. Okay, it really stinks over here. Alright. Got it set. Oh, I got that on my finger. So I'll come back tomorrow morning and check it. And see if we're going to check the trap. Looks like the padlock worked. You weren't getting out of there, boy. He tried. He tried. But it didn't work. That's a good size coon, too. Just what little land need. How friendly are you? Can I, can I test you? Oh, no, he ain't friendly. Uh-uh. Now, how the heck am I going to get you out of there? I need you to tell me that. All right, so my idea is... <clears throat> we take the trap. All right. We set it. Now, this is going to go terribly. I mean, I can already tell you that. This is just going to absolutely go terrible. My plan is... Golly, you stink, son. My plan is to uh, unlock the lock, grab the chain of the uh, foothold, and just pick him up in there. Don't go around the tree that way, please. That's going to make it extremely difficult. Bite my shoe. Oh, yeah, he's mean, son. Ginger, get, get your butt back. I promise you, he'll whoop up on you. Oh, yeah. He'll whoop up on you. Is he climbing that tree backwards? Man, these things are crazy. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he ain't, friend he ain't a friendly one. Or something. I don't think any of them are friendly. All right. Ginger, you better get back. All right. Let's see how I can try to attempt it. All right. I'm going to try to set the camera up right there. How well I can see. But kind of the best thing I got. Grab this glove. That's a big old coon. Probably when we treated him here the other night. What I'm going to try to do is unlock this with these floppy. Don't you jump out of that tree. You stay up there in that tree and this will make this a hundred times less difficult. Please don't come out of that tree. <laughs> Please don't come out of that damn tree. If he comes out of this tree, I'm running. Bad boy. You stay in that tree. 
Uh, that task is done. Now we just gotta try to. Ah, quick, quick, quick little rascal up there. Yeah, he's on one gear. We got him. That went bad. He about backed out of the trap. Had to push him down in there. Oh, that's yeah, he's playing. I used this little thing. Reached down in there. Grabbed the trap. Pull it out of there. Maybe if I sit him down. Hey, Gummit. You're making this way more difficult than it needs to be, buddy. Alright, I got you now. Yeah, I got the... I got the chain. That's all I needed. Don't you try to come running out of there and kill me or nothing crazy like things like to do. Now you get back. You stay back there. Make sure you can't get out. Can you get out of there? I hope not. There it is. Now, I'm going to try not to have to do that ever again, but you know what happened last time I said I won't go and ever do that again. All right, well, you're out, buddy. What you think about that? <laughs> you sitting like a bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's using his paw already. That's good. All right. Good job, buddy. I'm going to bring you some water, so maybe you'll act a little bit more calm or something. I don't know. Alright guys, so I just got the little garden done tilling. Looks like we'll probably have about eight rows in total. I think we're going to plant 
squash, okra, corn, tomatoes, and uh, I forgot the last one. Squash, okra, corn, tomatoes, peppers, and I think that was it. Yeah, I think that's all. So, yeah, that's what we're going to plant in here. So, we'll have to come down here with a hoe and start making a little rose, but for now, we got it tilled right, up. guys, so it's actually the same day from whenever we tilled the garden, and we went and bought some tomato plants. We raked this all out, made some rows, and we went and bought 10 tomato plants. This one, I forgot what that one is g pink whatever that is and i think these five right here are all cpt also don't know what those are that one's a bs beef steak beef steak and two bs toms so that's all we got planted for right now so i think tomorrow we're going to go buy some more stuff and plant the rest yes i don't know if i said any of the previous videos or not that my beagle puppy was pregnant or my beagle was pregnant but that was her right there that just licked the camera and she had three little ones. They're pretty good size. They were born Wednesday night and today's Wednesday. So they're a week old. That one is the male, the speckled one. The one right here on the far right is male. And the one that the, this one, little one's got his head on is a female. There's two males, one female. That one yawning. And I'm going to keep that little speckled male. And that's probably the only one I'm going to keep out of this later. But yeah, figured I'd show you guys, talk about them a little bit. So there's the puppies that my beagle had. And there she is. Alright guys, so the garden is officially done. Other than just watering it and keeping it up. We got squash right here. I don't plant anything right there. I'm just going to use that as kind of a little barrier to keep the squash from going over into here. Right here's tomatoes. This is all peppers. So tomatoes, peppers. And from this point right here, beside this tomato plant, that way is corn. And this is still peppers. This whole row is peppers. And that row is beans. And this row is beans. Or actually, this row is some little... Uh, Yellow tomatoes is actually what this row is. And this row is beans. This row is beans. And then these two rows are corn. That's candy corn, and this is double sweet corn. And that little patch up there beside the tomatoes is double sweet corn, too. So, and then, wait a second. I got a little bit confused. That's okra. The bottom one's okra. This is the candy corn. This is the double sweet corn. This is beans. This is beans. This has some of the, those little yellow tomatoes. And the other half of it's peppers. This is corn to the tomatoes. This is nothing. And this is the squash. Alright. I got it right that time. So, yeah. The garden's done. Just gotta keep it up and keep it watered. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. And, yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one.